Good morning, traders. Well, U.S. stocks finished Q1 with a bang as Wall Street wrapped up a, uh, a volatile and event-filled quarter on Friday. We had a Federal Reserve tightening. We had uh, mini bank panics with Silicon Valley collapsing and then Credit Suisse uh, and bailouts, so an eventful quarter. Um, ultimately, the markets were up quite heavily. The S&P was up around 7% for the quarter. The Nasdaq almost 17%, which is its best quarter since 2020. Uh, the Dow was a little bit more modest, up around 0.4% for the quarter. And the markets also got a boost with um, on Friday after the Fed's preferred inflation gauge showed a cooler than expected increase in prices. That's the core PCE reading, which uh, came in at 0.3% rather than the 0.4% that most economists had expected. Uh, in the week ahead, the highlights will be rate decisions from the RBA, uh, the RBNZ, and also obviously the US non-farm payroll employment report on Friday. So starting with the RBA, this is on Tuesday. At, the, at their last meeting, they, they hinted that uh, it was possible for a pause in in hikes at their next meeting, which is on Tuesday. Uh, since then, we've had softer than expected inflation figures. Uh, so the futures market's fully pricing in a pause from the RBA on Tuesday now. Um, whether this marks a peak or, or a temporary pause will become clearer in the statement released with the decision. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see a hawkish pause where the company's statement doesn't rule out uh, restarting these rate hikes in the future if, uh, if data uh, dictates it. Um, in that scenario, we should see a, a, a short-term boost in the Aussie dollar. Uh, across the ditch, the RBNZ is expected to hike 25 basis points on Wednesday. Now, New Zealand's had a mixed bag of figures lately that are really weak GDP. House prices are declining rapidly, um, but it's been offset by very strong employment and spending, which is picking up. So I think like the RBA, the volatility will come from the accompanying statement uh, as traders look for any signals if there's more hikes to come from the RBNZ or, or if they're at the end of their tightening cycle. Now, it's important to remember too that the, the Kiwi and the Aussie dollar both pretty much trade as proxies for global risk. So any move from these decisions probably will be temporary as, as the more macro forces of the market uh, kick in. On Friday, we have the always exciting non-farm payroll employment report out of, the, out of the US. So the market at the moment is split pretty much 50-50 on, on whether the Fed will hike again at their May meeting or they'll, or they'll pause. So uh, traders will be closely watching this figure uh, to give some clues on, on the Fed's next direction. It's pretty much guaranteed, I think, to cause some, some volatility in the FX markets. Uh, a figure of 235,000. Uh, is expected. Uh, if we see a figure, a reading close or, or higher than that, you'd think that that would boost expectations of a hike at the next Fed meeting and see the US dollar certainly get a boost. Um, on the other hand, if it's a big miss, then we could certainly see those odds increase for the pause and, and the US dollar take a hit on that.